Hey, my brother, what, what tribe are you from? No, right here, I'm talking to you, bless. What tribe are you from? Good question. I came over here, I look like, my name is Alejandro Fernando Garrett. What tribe? So, I'm oh, from so you from Northern Kingdom? I don't know. Most likely. Where was your father from? My father was from Accomack, Virginia. Okay, all right, all right. So, so you're hey. asking me? I don't have a clue. Right, right. Hey, we know you're Israel, though. Watch this. That's Give me Leviticus 19 and 19. I'm lost. I'm lost. Watch this, brother, bless. We was all lost at one point in time, and that's why you're here. You understand? Watch this. Leviticus 19 and 19. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19, and verse 19. What? You shall keep my statutes. You shall what? Keep my statue. What? Keep my statue. The Lord said, it don't matter if you say it's a commandment or a statue, whatever. The Lord said, you should what? Keep my statue. Now, go to verse 20, uh, 21. Or 27. No, no. Leviticus 19 and verse 27. Yep. What tribe yeah. he from? Oh, he's from Ephraim? Wow, bless you, my brother. Wow. Book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 27. You shall not round the corners of your head. Watch this, bless and remember, we just read that. You shall keep my what? My statutes. Now, watch this. We was just in, we, that was just in verse 19. We went a little bit down to verse 27, read. Neither shall thy mark the corners of thy beard. It says, neither shall you mark the corners of your beard. It's the same chapter. But we don't need to go there because this is what pertains to That's what our people are dealing with right in front of us. Don't stop at the beard. Now, now bless. No, no, no. You're absolutely right. Where are you headed to, to on today? Me right now? I'm just going out here to feed the sheep. Let my light so shine that men may see my good works. Can we see your good works? What you got? Sure you what you got brother. going? You're going to tell them what. See? Let's this see what we got going. Read it out loud, brother. All right, all right. Being a what, brother? Out uh, loud. From being a five-time convicted felon, a heroine, an addict for over 20 years, hustling thief and pimp, Alexander Garris, aka Blessed, is a living testimony to the fact that God's mercy endureth forever. Wow! I like that. You like that? I like that. So, now watch this. All right. Give me Blue 401. I want to hear what you got to say. Give me right. Blue 401. Go ahead. You ever heard of Isaiah? Listen closely. You ever heard of Isaiah? Yeah. Isaiah. No. Isaiah isn't Isaiah? No. Okay. Go ahead. Isaiah came after, come on y'all, after Elijah. Elijah was about to get taken up. Isaiah was following him because he wanted a double question. It's a mission. Mission. It's a mission. So, wait a minute. So the kids was teasing him. Why was they teasing him? He said they called him Ballhead. That's what talking about Elijah. Ballhead. You're talking about Elijah, brother. No. You're talking about Elijah. All right, come on. No. Wait. The book of the book of Baruch, chapter 4 and verse 1. This is the book of the commandments of God. This is the book of the commandments of God, brother. Bless. We ain't here to argue with you. No, we we want to. There we go. Way. There we go, brother. We want to sharpen the iron with you, okay? We. And the law that endures forever. And this is the laws that endure forever. So what do we want you to do? So Jesus lives in you, right? Jesus lives in you. How does Jesus live in you? No. Give me. Uh, what is that? John, First John, two and four. No. I do want to know. You got the. You got the Holy Ghost. I correct the ones I love. I never had a Bible in my house. I grew up in a house of hoes, liquor, prostitution, drinking liquor at six years old. Went to prison. He was merciful, came into my cell and made me cry. Pimps don't cry. Gangs, he broke me down. He said, I'm going to give you a clean heart and renewing you a right spirit. I'm going to use the unwanted and I'm going to send you out there. I'm going to use the murder of Moses, the killer David, there you the go. prostitute Rahab, the lion Peter. I'm going to use that killer saw. So, this way like that seemeth right unto man, yep, yep, yep. the ways ain't right, right? Hey. They got a form of godliness, but they deny the power. So let me ask you, bless. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. like me. Bless. Let me ask you something, brother. Because there's a more better way. There's a better way. There's a distance to what you're doing. The Lord could have brought you to this point right now, right now. to elevate you in the spirit. Oh, you understand that? Come on. You understand that? That's so right. what's this? Read. The book of first John, chapter two and verse four. Oh. He that says, I know him, uh -huh. it keepeth not his commandments, it's a liar. What are some of the what are some of the uh, the commandments? Keeping the Sabbath day holy, you know that. Wearing the uh, the, the beard. You, you know, I said some, I said some, we're talking, we talking to you. We're talking to you. Okay, well, give me some, give me some. Thou shall not kill you. Absolutely. Yep. The first two. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy strength, yep. all thy mind, 
and all thy heart, uh -huh. and thou shalt love thy neighbor as thy. That's the truth. Jesus said, upon these two, rest it. don't jump over the most important. You got the right one today. So what's the most important? Like what's the most important? Love. Love. What is love? Love. God is love. We're going to see what love That's is, what and then I want to come back to this. What is love? But how do you love God? This is the question that we're trying to figure out. Because, Brother Bless, you say a lot because the Lord delivered you from a lot. But listen, you're here to learn more, brother. You hear, you, we might look like young men, but we study this thing. You understand? We, the book of 1 John, chapter 5, and verse 3. For this is the love of God. This is the love of God. We, that we keep His commandment. That we do what? Keep His commandment. One more time. Keep His commandment. You see that, brother? Bless? That's how you're actually blessed. You want to turn your name into an actual verb? Into an actual how, who you are and what you do? Give me uh, Revelation 22. What does it mean to be blessed? Blessed? There we go. That's right. Start one, two. They don't even have the two. You jumped over the college. They ain't finished. So watch this. Right. You're absolutely right. You That's why we're me, talking brother. to you, blood. That's why we're talking to you. Because here's the thing. Here's the thing. Watch this. And they still on milk. If you love, you can't give them yet. watch this. But this is for you, blood. If you say you love the Lord, right? If you say you love the Lord and you don't do what He say, how much do you really love the Lord? No. He said. You're a liar, and the truth ain't it. There you go. So what we're trying to say is the Lord said wear your beard. The Lord said keep the Sabbath day holy. Right. The Lord said wear your beard. Right. The Lord said you got to congregate on the Sabbath day. Right. Everything. You understand? Do you eat do you eat any unclean foods? What are some unclean foods? Four. Okay. Right. Please. Oh. Right. No. Ah, uh, no. Shrimp, like that crab, no. lobster. Do you eat shrimp, crab, lobster? I can't afford it. Okay, hey, neither can I, brother. Don't worry about it. Don't you eat that beef? Wait, wait, don't stop now. The book of Revelation, chapter 22, and verse 14. Blessed are they that do his commandments. That's for you, bless. And read it again. Blessed are they that do his commandments. You gotta do the commandments. Because why? 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 You ask us why. I want to ask you why. Why are blessed are they that do his commandments? Because I want them to say unto me, well done, good and faithful servant. I can't get that. How you doing, sis? If I don't fight the good fight, put on a full armor. I'm a late bloom. I'm six. Okay, okay. So I'm a late bloomer, but Moses was eighty. Oh, uh, yeah. Abraham was a hundred. Now what is this? Abraham was a hundred. So I'm a late bloomer, but I thank God. Amen. Yahweh. Amen. So, so what's this, brother? Bless. I thank him today. What does it mean to be blessed? To be blessed means the bullets didn't hit me. They hit Tupac and Biggie. That means the dope didn't kill me. It really? killed Michael. Blessed are they that do his commandments. It says, blessed are they that do his commandments. You know, mercy runs out, right? You know, mercy eventually runs out. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm out here fighting this. There you go. So what we want you to do, brother, is to get in contact with us. Learn. Learn. Learn with us. You, you've been out in these streets. You know what? You know what ain't good for these young men? Yeah. He knew the word way better. A blind man had to lead him to the shower with us. A blind man was teaching me. God said, they have eyes and they see not. There you go. I'm going to give you a blind man. And he said, no, black. Go to the video. He knew what I said, man, God. And this man knew he can't even see. He said, because you're using the wrong eye. See, open the eyes there you go. Heart. There you I'm go. a spirit. And they that worship me, what? He worship is spirit and truth. There you go. I used to sit there and say, yeah. So you learn from the Israelites. You are Israelite. So that, there you go. And guess what? You're still around them today. There you go, brother. All right. Read that. That they may, that they may have the right to the tree of life and enter in through the gates into the city. Uh, that's what we want to keep His commandments. That's how we're blessed by keeping His commandments. Hello, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Now watch this. Give me John chapter 8, verse 31 and 32. Because you, you, are, you got the understanding and the knowledge in prison, right? And that, and that unlocked your mind. What'd you get? That's where he whooped me with many strikes. Okay. That's where he broke me down and said, you ain't pimping no more. There we go. Huh? That's Good. where he beat me like they beat 
Jesus. That's where he corrected me, protected me. He put me in prison like Mandela. Man. He put me in prison like Peter, like, go. like James. So he put me in prison. So guess what, bro? We went from one prison to another prison outside of the cell. And I'm going to show you because they put prisons on our mind. That's why when we don't keep God's commandments, we know who's mentally enslaved and spiritually still enslaved. Read this. The book of John, chapter 8, and verse 31. He said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him. He said to the Jews which believed on him, that's you, blessed. Read. If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. If you continue in the commandments, law, statutes, then you're really a disciple of the Lord. But you have to continue the word that his father gave to grace. Read. And ye shall know the truth. Then you will know the truth of us. Then you will know the truth. When you keep God's commandments, it's going to take the shackles off your mind. Read. And the truth shall make you free. And the truth shall make you free. And the truth, keeping God's commandments, is what makes us a free people. So we don't literally have to be behind bars. If we ain't keeping the commandments of God, guess what? We're not free. We're mentally and spiritually enslaved. Read it one more time. 32. And ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. Psalms 142 and 7. Give me Psalms chapter 142 and verse 7. Yes, sir. Hey, we love you, brother. We glad that you came up here. This is why we do this, sis. This is why we do this, brother, right here. We come out here to wake up our people, to show them that we've been, in, we woke up into captivity. What do you think the Matrix was about? The Matrix, we're all in the Matrix. Our job is like Morpheus. It's like Neo to unloose you, untake you out of the mental captivity that we've been in. All right, read. The book of Psalms, chapter 142 and verse 7. Bring my soul out of prison, that I may praise thy name. You see that? God says, bring my soul out of prison, so that what? That I may praise thy name. Why did the Lord let you go out of prison? So that what? That I may praise thy name. Why are you not in prison right now? That I may praise thy name. Yes, why are you not in prison right now? That I may praise thy name. We all at one point broke God's commandments. But he took us from the mental prison and the physical prison that we may what? Praise thy name. That's what the Lord our God did. The only way to praise his name is by keeping his commandments. The righteous shall compass me above, for they shall deal bountifully with me. The righteous shall compass you about, because the Lord will deal lovingly with you. He delivered you from prison. You're here right now around those that keep his commandments, because he loves you. Because he loves you and because he loves you. You understand that? That's why you're here right now. That's why we're out here. To wake up the lost sheep of the house of Israel. You are the house of Israel. You are the house of Israel. And my brother bless. You are the house of Israel. That's right. We are the chosen seed. Now we have to act like it. Now we got to move like it. We got to talk like it. Dress like it. You understand? We are the chosen seed of God. Nation is men leading by example.